So we're here with Felicia Valin. Do I say it correctly? Yes. Felicia. Sounds okay. good. Hey, uh, please tell us where we are, who you are, who you are grooming for. Yeah, uh, my name is Felicia and I'm from Sweden. I'm working for Richard Vogel for four years now. And we're here in our barn in Wellington. And this is my coworker, Maggie, uh, flipping one of the horses ahead of next week's show. And How long have you been grooming for Richard? Uh, for about four years now. I've been with Richard. Uh, what do you like so much about it, about grooming? Um, this, of course, to spend time with the horses. That's the number one reason why I do the job. Um, also the shows. I like to travel and uh, for me it's a very important thing in my life to, to be out and see new things and new places and meet people. So that's a big bonus on top of it to, to get to see new things and to see the world. Yeah, nice. And you won a big or a pretty big Grand Prix yesterday in uh, in Wellington, yeah. and you just continue the winning streak <laughs> that you've been on for like about a year. Yeah. So uh, how do you like Wellington? Um, yeah, we love Wellington. It's very nice here. The horses loves it here in the winter because yeah, they can go in the fields, and we have a nicer weather than back in Germany. Um, so we like it a lot. It's uh, for the more green horses and unexperienced horses, very nice to go in Lorena. They can jump some smaller national classes and then go into international one week. And it's a, it's a good place to step horses up for the season. Yeah. Hey, and uh, you said you were from Sweden. Why and how did you become a groom? How does it work in Sweden? <laughs> um, so I was in a kind of a horsey school uh, where we had some like basics for veterinarian and all this stuff uh, but at that point I was riding and that's why I went there then I started working for my trainer in Sweden um, after school and I thought I would do that for about a year uh, but I liked it a lot so I ended up staying for a bit longer and when I was on a tour with him in Spain uh, I met some friends there and about a year later they um, contacted me and said they have a new German rider who was joining their team and they're looking for a showroom for him. So I didn't know who Richie was at that point. Um, and I thought, yeah, why not try to, to go outside Sweden and see something else? And that's how I started. And here you are, having been to all the big shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And won a couple. Yeah. Some of them. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, what's the worst part about your job? Um, I mean, there's a lot of tough moments. It's never easy when a horse you really like gets sold or the owners want to move it to another rider. That's very tough on the heart, of course. Um, I mean, it's not a job for the weak one. You have uh, early mornings and late evenings. And uh, the, I mean, it's, it's tough things and you for sure you don't always enjoy it and the traveling and all of this it can be can be really tough uh, but if you if you like it enough you'll get through it but yeah for me I have to say the hardest part is to say goodbye to the horses oh. that you really like yeah. it's tough. Um, what's your favorite horse is he here uh, so we have one here uh, Sepano Valo Bay um, Seppi uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, he is, along with United Touch, my favorite. Yeah. They are very equal. Uh, Seppi, he's a bit like a cat. He, he wants his own space. He's very uh, food motivated. So now he's happy because I gave him a cookie. But he likes his space for himself. Uh, but he's very sweet. And it's special because I looked after him since he's six years old and he's just turned 10 now. Oh. So we did our first youngster classes together and Bundeschampionat, he won as a seven-year-old. Nice. And then he won actually his first five-star Grand Prix here in Wellington last year. And that was really special to, yeah, I've been with him from the start basically. Nice. Yeah. So, and you, sorry, Go he's ahead. very special to me. Yeah. And you say he's like similar to uh, United Touch? What, what is, what is <laughs> no, similar? No, they are very different. They're, oh, they're different. They're super okay. different. Okay. They're just uh, similar. They have the same place in my heart. Oh. But uh, yeah, they're very, very different. Seppi is independent. He likes to be by himself. Um, 
he's not a big fan of other horses. Um, even though Savannah tries to say hi to him. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, he, he's special because I looked after him for a long time and I know his quirks. Yeah. Um, United is very social. He, he, he's, it takes a while for him to trust people, but uh, once you, you get close to him, uh, he really adores you and yeah, we have a very good bond. So with him, it's very special because I know he likes me and yeah, I yeah, like yeah. him a lot. And Sipano is a bit, <laughs> I like him a lot, but he also likes uh, His food own more than me. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, and is uh, United, is he here or no? Yeah, he's in Wellington. Uh, he's in the Stallion Quarantine at the moment. It's a very nice place uh, driven by Rich Favor. Um, so he's there. Uh, they do some testings to see that they that they're all good to go. Yeah. Uh, so he's coming out in about a week. So I was just there this morning and had him out on the field for a bit. And yeah, nice. he's loving life here. Oh, and okay. He will do. He will come out for the first five star. Yeah. So it's it's pretty uh, busy for you, like traveling from one one barn to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, it's close here. Um, so. It's not too bad. Everything's within 10 minutes distance, so yeah. it still works out. Okay. Hey, and the horse I won the Grand Prix, is he here too? Yes, he's next to Sepano. Sit, come. Come here. Oh, hello. Oh, he's a bit tired now, I think. Come. Yeah. This is Sidello. He's quite new. Um, He's uh, also 10 now, but very green. He hasn't done so much in his life. He did his first international show in September. Wow. Uh, but he took already four Grand Prix victories with us in wow. two and three star level. And he's really growing into it very well. And he's nice. very sweet. And it's, uh, this is one of Richard's favorites. Ah, yeah. yeah. OK. Um, What's your best tip for making <laughs> a groom's life easier? Um, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, you need to have a good boss who respects your limits and uh, allows you to have a break. Yeah, see. And, uh, <laughs> then also there's a lot of things the shows can do for us, provide food is always nice. Here they're trying hard now to do some breakfast and snacks and that's always appreciated. Um, one thing I'm pushing for a bit here is to get some rubber mats or concrete floor put down because you get very muddy or dusty when you walk to the arenas here. Oh, yeah. That's the, maybe the one bad thing I have to say about Wellington. Uh, but in general, there's a lot of things that can be done. But I mean, if, you, if you're a bit on it, I think it's, it's quite easy to, to know what it is. Good yeah. pay, give, give your groom stays off, um, be kind be appreciating and yeah and yeah cute horses also makes it easier <laughs> cute horses help yeah uh, I'm almost at the end but one um, what has been one of your most special moments during your time as a groom I know you've had many <laughs> but there's been there's been a lot of special moments since I started with Richie um, like if you go very back in time, we did our first Nations Cup together. It was a three-star Nations Cup in Villa Mora. And it was the first one for me and Richie and my then favorite horse, Flojo. Uh, and we were one of only three double clears and Germany won it. So that was, at that point, a very special moment for us. Then, of course, we had last year so many of them. Aachen was amazing. Uh, Sepano, when he won his first five-star Grand Prix, that was also, we didn't believe it. He was second to go in the first round, first to go in the jump off. And uh, it was a very, very special moment. I think even Richie had some tears in his eyes. Oh. And uh, yeah, then I, I can't say, not, I can't men not mention Geneva. It was just uh, like a dream coming true. I didn't, I didn't think at all it would happen. But it was strange because the night before I was like a child on Christmas. I was living together with my best friend Louisa. She works for Bertram Allen. And I was I was like in the truck just twisting and turning. And I was like, why am I so excited? I need to calm down because 
I, I'm going to be so disappointed if we have one down because still one down is not a bad result in such a big Grand Prix. Yeah. And to be honest, we're not super experienced yet on that level compared to the other riders there. Uh, so, of course, that was like just amazing. Yeah. I, I was, I had some happy tears after the first round and after the jump off, I was just shaking. Yeah. I had so much adrenaline. Oh. And yeah, United is just amazing. He really yeah. gave us everything there. And same with Sopano in the Rolex Grand Prix. It's so special. Uh, actually, also this one yesterday because that was the biggest Grand Prix he jumped in yeah. his life. And when you see they really put that extra effort into it, that's that's very special. Yeah, is that also what you're most proud of? Because that would be my last question. But you yeah. may, maybe answered it already. Yeah, I think I'm very proud of all our horses, and I think we have a very good system to keep them happy and performing. Uh, I don't believe in. Uh, having all horses in the same system, I think you need to like change it for each individual. Uh, like Sepano, he likes his own space. He wants to be a bit by himself, so I try not to bother him too much. He goes every morning out on the field, um, while another horse maybe wants more time, but you spend a lot of time with them. And uh, But yeah, what we have common for all horses is that they all are horses, and I think that's a really important thing to keep them performing and and to keep that spirit in them yeah. to want to jump the clear. I think they go the extra mile if they're happy within. They, you can't just force a horse to go the extra mile for you. I think that's pretty beautiful to uh, yeah. close this off. So thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck this season. Thank you very much.